Lucy. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a big fish. What the heck is this? What is going on guys? We're back with another video of the fishing dream. I hope each and every one of you guys are having an awesome day. Today we're gonna bring you guys over to Walmart. Uh, we filmed a video here know, three or four videos ago. Today we are gonna be taking guys on a little tour of the fishing section. We're gonna get on over to the fishing section guys. Um, trying to adjust my phone. I don't have my camera with me today because it's like dead. Um, so I'm, I'm using my phone today. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get on over to Walmart. Um, we're gonna see uh, which lure costs the cheapest. That's the point in this video. It has to be a lure. It can't be a rig. It can't be hooks or whatever. It has to be a specific lure, swim bait. We'll see guys. So let's go over to Walmart, see what lure is cheapest there. Um, and then get on over to a pond and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll go catch some bass. Leave a like, leave I hope this video does not get demonetized when I get monetized because I just noticed I was playing music. But let's get on over to Walmart and then to the pond and uh, fingers crossed we'll catch some bass. And I'll see you guys there. So we were making our way into Walmart and of course the best section in Walmart, the best aisle, the fishing section. So we got to the spot and I knew instantly what bait I wanted to choose. I was thinking more of a fall time type of bait. So I went with this Booyah Pond Magic. These things are killer this time of the year. I've caught so many bass on them. We also chose to go with the Yum Dinger um, Watermelon Red Flake. These things are killer in my area, killer all year round. So we got them too. So uh, let's get back to the house. Let's talk about what we got and uh, yeah, let's get some fishing. All right, so I'm trying to figure out the best way to have the angle of the camera. Um, yeah, it's dark. We were in Walmart for a while. Um, uh, me especially. I was probably in the fishing aisle for like 30 minutes. Um, but, you know, that's just me. So we were able to pick up these two items here. I didn't really want to talk in the Walmart because there was a lot of people with me there. So I just filmed a little bit. I, I'm gonna, I did a little voiceover. We got a little, uh, I know you guys can't really see that so well. You guys will see when we go fishing. But um, little Booyah Pond Magic. I feel like this is like a perfect size spinnerbait for fishing New Jersey waters. And I've already caught a lot of fish on this. I know I really only said one item, but like, I feel like this was the cheapest spinnerbait that would actually like work. And so I, I, I picked this out. This was $2.44. Thought that was pretty cheap for spinnerbait. So picked that out, one of my favorites. And you know, you can never go wrong with the Yum Dinger, $2.47. Um, the total was about $5.24 with tax, so, um, total was like $4.91. We went under $5 and we got, a uh, watermelon red flake, five inch Sankos right there. These things are the juice. Uh, I actually caught a six pounder recently, as you guys saw in the last video on this. So, we got those two items just to show you guys proof. Let me get the receipt out. You guys definitely can't see this. Maybe you can, I don't know. 524 right there. We're gonna get on over the pond. I'm probably gonna go fishing tomorrow. I'll see. Um, so let's get on over to the pond. Uh, I'm probably gonna go to bed right now because I'm tired, but let's go, go to, let's go to the pond. Um, wish me luck and uh, let's go catch some donkeys. Alrighty. Alrighty. Here we are at the good old uh, honey hole. Let's go walk down here, see if we can go catch some fish. We were here in the last video and I kind of want to make my comeback and to truly see if the lures that we got from Walmart could work here or not. Pond's down yonder. Got to do a little bit of walking to get there, but you know, turns out it's worth it. So let's just see how today's gonna go. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get this challenge completed and done. Uh, so let's just see what's gonna happen. All right, so stay tuned, like, subscribe, and uh, let's go catch some fish. All righty, so we have two baits lined up for us right now. I'm not gonna throw the spinner bait yet just because I don't feel like I wanna approach it so quick like that. But we have the Sanko tied on right here. Good old uh, yum dinger. So let's just see how this is gonna do. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll go catch some fish. Ho ho ho, fingers crossed.
You know, this is like a perfect description of fall time fishing. Now, early November, you know, you're fishing winter baits and stuff, almost winter baits, like blade baits, jerk baits, spinners and stuff like that. That's kind of why I chose to get the spinner and the Sanko, because Sanko catches fish all around, and you can't argue with that. It's, it's literally the best lure ever invented, so, you know, kind of figured I might as well throw it. That's a freaking big bluegill. Jeez, just big old bluegill tried eating my Sanko. <laughs> We're gonna go, uh, I think, uh... Oh, God. We're gonna go whip out this jerk bait right here. A little two and a half inch jerk bait right there. A little minnow, shad colored. Because there are shad in this water, and I feel like this would be pretty good bait to throw in here. So, let's give this a shot, and uh, hopefully it'll go catch a fish. What the heck? There's this little fish here, guys, and it's just it's trying to eat this jerk bait. I actually have no clue what it is. <laughs> Golly, I don't know what's going on with the bite today. Nothing on the jerk bait yet. Maybe this is just not the right spot to fish the jerk bait in this pond. Hold on, I got a Senko in the tree. I don't know. The Senko should be working today. I don't know what's going on. Christopher's got a fish. Fish! No, I lost it. You bit it. Let's see if I can get him again now. That was weird. He was on for a second and he just got off. Fish. Oh gosh, we actually have a fish. No, 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 no. Perfect, a little one pound bass. You're gonna have to relax. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to relax. Alrighty. Beautiful. I don't know, about a one pound bass on the yum dinger right there. Nice. A little nice close up look at the fish. Alright, there we go, guys. Beautiful little fish. We're going to get a little release. Hey, bye bye, fishy. I don't know where he went off, but uh, he's gone. Oh, wait. There he is. He's gone now. <laughs> He was kind of running with it in its mouth and he was about to go in that uh there's uh that brush pile over there that would have not been good but you know what it's a fish and uh all fish are amazing no matter if they're one pound or not uh a bass is a bass and you can't get upset about that especially if you're catching them in november now we just got to go catch a fish on the spinner bait which was really the intention of this whole challenge so let's take like a couple more casts because i feel like i still have faith in the sanko Let's throw this a little bit longer and maybe we'll, you know, tie on the spinner bait. Let's just see. Stay tuned, guys, all right? Fish. It's another little one pound bass. Dude, they're biting on the bottom lip. What the heck's going on here, guys? <laughs> Jeez, bass. They're freaking biting on the bottom lip. I don't know what's going on. Right there. Little another little one pound bass right there. About 12 inches, so another little doinky for the day. Alrighty, right there, guys. Nice little close up the fish. Toss him back in there. And there it goes. Swims off beautifully. That's number two for the day. I was just saying, probably should throw this a little longer. We're gonna take this off i think though let's go tie on that little spinner bait that we got we'll give that a shot hopefully that catches something for us we already got two bass on the senko which is pretty epic 
<sighs> now we just got to go uh, whip out this little spinner bait and uh, catch a fish on it. So hope we can uh, hope we can do that. Oh fish! Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! This is a big fish. What the heck is this? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, it's a big pickerel. Big pickerel, holy cow, what the heck? <laughs> That's sick. Let's not get like destroyed by this guy. That would not be fun. Well, the spinnerbait caught us a fish. It didn't catch us a bass, but you know. A pickerel's a fish. Right there, guys. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little pickerel. There it goes. I really don't like those fish, but you know, if they're that big, they're fun. That guy put up an awesome fight there. That was, jeez, that was epic. <laughs> oh, gosh. Destroyed my uh, spinnerbait. Oh, that thing was like three pounds. It was huge. But that was pretty epic, guys. I knew that I had a feeling that was gonna be a pickerel because I don't know, kind of destroyed my skirts. You know, they're annoying, but that guy, he almost got me hung up in that thing. He was smart. Gotta tighten my drag up a little bit more. That thing was like screaming drag. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go get some more, guys. That was awesome. Fish. Oh my God. It's just so hard because I can't really set the hook with all these like brush because there's a bunch of bushes here and it's hard to set the hook i think that was a smaller fish but you know what let's go ahead and replace the trailer i think this thing's seen better days it's not really doing so well <laughs> oh man oh they're going right on top of me don't poop on me oh thank god i didn't get pooped on Alrighty, we're gonna move spots a little bit. We're gonna go down to Christopher. Apparently, well, I, in the past, I've caught a lot of fish where he's at with the jerk bait and Senko, of course, but uh, we're gonna go see what's like down there. Hopefully we'll go catch some fish down there better than here. So let's go see if we can do something. All right, guys, so stay tuned and uh, let's get moving. Time. Let's see what this can do. Alrighty, fellas, I know it's not the best quality lighting right now. It's really dark. We're about to head out. You no, know, we probably could have had a better day of fishing, but you know. You know, there's times like this when it's just tough. Luckily, we were able to catch a lot of fish here the past two times at this pond, and especially like last video. So we're gonna head on out. Let's go back to the house. Let's finish up the day, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little video of hours that we just posted. Fishing recently has been really, really slow. I mean, like, really slow. Like, I'm only catching, like, one or two bass every single time I go out. I'm going out for only, like, an hour, hour and a half because it's getting so dark. Because the only times I really get to go fishing is after school. And school ends at 3, it gets dark, and it's, like, pitch black at 5 o'clock. So, it's been tough. I've been trying my best to get out as much as possible. It's only, I'm only getting out two or three times a week. Just as they explained last video, you know, it's kind of tough for me right now with school and other stuff that's going on. So I'm trying my best to put content out for you guys to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Again, if you guys enjoyed watching, please leave a like, uh, comment, and also subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time on The Fishing Dream. Keep fishing. Have a good day.